again, this is a daily chart. So every candlestick here is a daily representation of the highest high and the lowest low, where it started trading, where it stopped trading. Okay. Um, I'll add this because it's in my last video. This set button here, I use this interchangeably. So if I click this, it changes sometimes a little bit. You can see, watch this candlestick up here. Okay, watch the watch the uh, the close of it. It'll change. See, that's a little bit higher there. And it's lower there. I use both readings. I use both readings because I want to have those levels in mind because tr traders are going to have it toggled on sometimes and sometimes they're not going to have it toggled on. So I want to know what retail is doing and a lot of retail uses TradingView. And I'm, it's not a knock against TradingView. I actually love, I love this resource. So I use these two reference points right there. That's what that volume imbalance is. So that was in my chart this morning while I was taking the trade live. You watch me execute, you watch me manage the trade, and it was based on this logic that we were down here, and it's going to do what? Trade up here. But ICT, you're teaching support and resistance, buddy. You're just making it complicated. Why didn't it go up to that low? It broke below this low right here. Why didn't it go up there? Because it doesn't fucking need to go up there. It doesn't need to go there. It's not going to go there. Where's it going to go? Where I'm telling you it's going to go. The algorithm that delivers and books price that's a predetermined, it's a scheduled event, it's going to happen whether you fucking own it or not, whether you buy it or short it, it doesn't matter how many people are buying it, it doesn't matter what the volume level is, it does not fucking matter. None of that shit matters. It's going to go up into this level here. Why does it need to go here? Why does it need to do that very thing right there, going up to that point? What's missing? Volume. Why would we say why would we say that? Because look, this candlestick's low right here. This candlestick's low. Well, I'll just throw this. It went up to that level there. So if it's support resistance, why don't I just use this daily low? Because it's not fucking support resistance. Why didn't it stop at this previous daily high? Because it's not fucking support and resistance. So what am I looking at? I'm looking at the difference between these two candlesticks bodies. Even though they are joining and slightly overlapping with these two wicks here. This candlesticks wick and this candlesticks tail. Let me, let me elongate a little bit so you can see it. So this one has a little bit of a, a tail underneath it. And this one has a little bit of a, a wick on the upside. Okay, you see that? The fact that it doesn't have a body overlapping the close to open of these two candlesticks, the algorithm will reprice to that. Do not take my fucking word for it. Go back and look at your charts. It's happening all the time on every single time frame, even on five second charts. That they're going to say it's noise. It's not noise. It's not fucking noise. Okay.